definitely key theme of the trip was flexibility. I mean, the fact was is that we would have a plan every morning, but throughout the day we had about four or five other plans because something new would come up like, oh, let's use this power tool. That's not going to work. Let's use our hands. It's just kind of part of the going with the flow. There were days that we were not getting our supplies on time and we weren't um, able to finish our projects when we wanted to because it just got put off by the materials not being there or um, just unexpected things that would go on with our projects. Yeah, and there was something special about the time with the team. You know, it's like we had the time with the kids and the Roma people, and, um, but those moments that we had with the team was so special. A lot of little groups would, would separate from each other, but it was nice to know, and it was nice to get to know just like people individually. And I really think that um, that helped us bond as a team as well. I got to hang out with Cameron and three working on chicken coop just with us three for a couple days. And it was really great because I know Cameron and I know three, but not as well until you work with them for eight or nine hours all by yourself. And so like you're hitting nails, hitting your thumbs, you're getting frustrated, but instead of getting frustrated with each other, you're like running to like work together. Um, I think we all just long to love and be loved. And um, I think I just saw that. That's just natural. That's how it is with us and how it was with them. And... Well, like some of the kids, I mean, it's just like they're 10 years old and they've got scars and you know, scrapes. That definitely broke my heart to see some of that stuff because I just watched kids beat up each other and having to break that up and kind of explain to them that that's not okay. So it was, um, it was really troubling to see that these kids weren't innocent even at the age of like eight or nine. At the village when we were playing with the kids um, and I just looked around and I saw all these, our team members loving on these kids that may have had lice, all this other stuff, but they didn't care. They were still loving on them. It was just cool. It was a cool view to see how much love they had. It wasn't a worldly love, it was a Christly love. It's cool. Having those conversations with non-believers that are supporting me through it has been the hard part of this mission trip. Um, so that's my mission right now, to be talking to my non-believer friends more about what we did and why we did it. Go on a mission trip, you think of him saying, like, okay, are you, like, you're going to decide whether or not this is your vocation or not um, to, to be in missions. But really, um, I feel like sometimes he wants to teach you smaller lessons in order to build up to what he has planned for you next. 